Hello, good morning, students. See, yesterday we have started a new lesson that is carbon and its compounds. So, as you know that some basic information related to this lesson we are going to learn in this session. So, we have discussed about the carbon. What is important of importance of carbon in our day to day life? Okay, and it is a third most important element. in our whole world okay because oxygen is first second one is a hydrogen and the third most important element that is a carbon so most of the things most of the things contain a carbon okay so that the importance of carbon yesterday we have a discuss now today we will discuss about the occurrence of carbon see in short uh, you have know about the structure of carbon means what is the atomic number of carbon atomic number of carbon then mass number of carbon okay so atomic particles means in short we have discussed yesterday means in the last lecture so now we will discuss about the occurrence of carbon now occurrence means what means carbon is exist in a two state okay now carbon it is present in a so many substance for example wood for example chalk for example gas okay so in all the substances carbon is present so this existence of carbons it is in a two state that is a free state carbon and combined state carbon now free state carbon means what it is a purest form of a carbon free state carbon means mostly it contain a carbon for example coal see now a uh, coal a uh, coal it how to get the coal it is a natural process okay and it takes a millions of years to get a coal so when you will go in higher classes that is in at standard in that one specially lesson that is coal and petroleum it is a given okay so in that you will learn in detail about how we are getting coal okay the process of coal so this coal is means mostly 90% it is carbon it is cut it contain so it is a purest form of carbon then diamond and graphite these three examples means in uh, it contain a carbon okay it the carbon exist in this three examples that is coal diamond and graphite it is a purest form of carbon okay so it is known as a free state and in a combined state means what see combination with other elements means carbon it is present in that but it combined with other elements also okay so it is known as a combined state so for example carbon dioxide now carbon dioxide what is the formula of carbon dioxide see co2 means what this carbon is combined with other element so it is known as a combined state okay so carbon dioxide natural gases now natural uh, gases uh, you know methane butane these are means these are natural gases it contain a carbon then see um, and petroleum and then food a uh, nutrient starch sugar fats marble limestone in this also the carbon is present but it combined with the different element okay so this is known as a combined state carbon so occurrence of carbon means what how the carbon is exist in this different different substances okay so the the occurrence of carbon free state and combined state in okay up to now we have discussed about the carbon okay importance of carbon and structure of carbon and now the new point that is we will discuss that is a compounds of carbon as you know that what is the lesson name that is carbon and its compounds okay so now we will discuss about the compounds of carbon see compounds of carbon they are divided into a two main types okay there are so many subtypes 
also it is there but now we will discuss about the two main types of uh, compounds of carbon okay so see here uh, these compounds of carbons are divided into uh, two main types that is the first one is organic compound and second one is inorganic compound okay so these two are the main types of compounds of carbon which first one is organic compound and second one is inorganic compound now inorganic compound so now you are in a sixth standard class but when you will go in a higher classes you will learn in a detail about the detail about carbons in organic chemistry okay but now you are in sixth standard class so according to that we will discuss here so organic compound means what see in organic in all organic compounds essentially contain carbon so you just have to remember that organic compounds means which compounds we are getting from the plants and animals see here for example that is fuel and sugar so fuels we get from the dead plants and animals okay now how to get the fuels what is the procedure of fuels so when you will go in 8th standard class so in that in coal and petroleum one special lesson it is given for you and in that you will learn in detail about how we get the natural gas coal petroleum okay and uh, some products of coal so in these organic compounds essentially contain carbon okay means you can say it is most percentage of carbon it contain okay so if you it is essentially contain carbon these are the examples of organic compound that is fuels so in fuels which it is all it is means uh, petrol diesel okay these all are the examples in fuels so natural gas uh, in natural gas methane is given one example and what is the formula of methane that is a ch4 now c means what carbon h means hydrogen so it is the combination of hydrogen and carbon so this ch4 is a chemical formula of methane okay ch4 is chemical formula of methane and methane is one example of natural gas okay one more example that is a butane so do you know lpg cylinder okay lpg what is a long form of lpg good that is a liquid petroleum gas okay so it means that we are using in our home so in that which gas is present in that a natural gas that is a butane butane it is present in that so these are the hydrocarbons so when you will go in higher classes so that time you will learn but you should know about in cylinder which gas is present okay so butane is present in a lpg and this is methane is example of one natural gas now see your sugar see this sugar you know because you have learned in photosynthesis process okay the plants preparing that also in sugar that is glucose and sucrose glucose c6h12o6 now see this c6h12o6 is chemical formula of glucose this is very important at least you should know about the chemical formula of glucose maybe they will ask the question what is the formula of glucose so c6 h12 and o6 this is the chemical formula of glucose okay now sucrose this c12 h22 and o11 means what 12 atoms of carbon 22 atoms of hydrogen and 11 atoms of oxygen so this c12 h22 o11 is chemical formula of sucrose okay so these are the some examples i have not given you all examples of organic compounds but these which are you know okay means these examples it is you know everyone this is a common example so it contain a carbon okay so these are the examples of organic compounds now 
in inorganic compounds see this is the second type of organic compounds see these two are the main types of organic compounds main types of carbon compounds that is organic compounds and inorganic compounds now in inorganic compounds co2 means carbon dioxide now see i have written here just only the formulas because you know what is the name of this co2 co2 means what carbon dioxide co means carbon monoxide and ca co3 means calcium carbonate now see here what is this this is a chalk okay so this chalk contain calcium carbonate ca co3 so this is some inorganic compound now inorganic compound of this gases okay which is present in our surrounding this carbon monoxide gas is produced it's harmful you know that okay when chemical reaction produced then caco3 calcium carbonate so these are the some common examples of organic compounds so what you have to remember now these organic compounds are mostly divided into two main types carbon compounds sorry carbon compounds are mostly divided into two main types the first type is organic compound and second type is inorganic compound okay so in organic compound essentially contain carbons means carbon percentage is more okay it contain essentially mostly it contain a carbon then for example fuels and sugar okay so ch4 it is a chemical formula of methane in sugar glucose and sucrose these two are the chemical formulas of glucose and sucrose okay and in organic compound carbon dioxide carbon monoxide and calcium carbonate these are the common examples so now next point we will learn in next lecture so now i will stop here thank you